a short film on the state of affairs regarding environment and energy at IIT Bombay. IIT Bombay was established with the vision of India's first Prime Minister Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru to help satisfy the technological needs of India. IIT Bombay's entire campus has lush green environment and hosts a wide variety of flora and fauna like bats, crows, eagles and a variety of birds. Many grey langur monkeys, leopards and panthers also contribute to the biodiversity of the campus. A variety of snakes including cobra, rat eater and python are encountered on the campus. As a part of development of IITB, various new civil construction projects are in progress which cause air pollution. Many vehicles also move around in the campus. IITB has 19 buses. The number of three-wheelers and cars is also significant. All the buses and three-wheelers are eco-friendly as they use CNG. Also, the sides of roads have green belts to reduce pollution. After widening the Jogeshwari Vikroli Link Road, the number of vehicles passing by IIT increased significantly. The Mumbai Metropolitan Region Development Authority took steps to control the noise pollution in IITB by installing noise barriers along the compound wall of IIT. In IIT, a large quantity of solid waste, namely about 4 tons per day, is generated. Campus residents are expected to sort the solid waste generated into dry, wet and biodegradable and dispose of it in three separate bins at each collection point. Of the 4 tons of solid waste, 2 tons are compostable and are mainly generated from hostels and messes. Tree Labs, a startup in IITB, has installed a pilot scale solid waste biodegradation unit which uses microbes to degrade compostable waste. They are also working on various shapes of plastic containers for growing plants. IIT Bombay's campus is located on the eastern side of the Pawai Lake. Trophication in Pawai Lake has increased and so too many plants and weeds are growing on the lake. IITB has an excellent rainfall drainage network draining excess rainwater into Pawai Lake. The sewage water from IITB is collected in a sum and then sent to BMC using a motor of 60 horsepower working continuously to drain this water. IITB has a very well maintained nursery which plants about 3000 saplings per year. Water tanks are also maintained for the irrigation of the plants. IIT Bombay also maintains a medical garden. IITB has installed several vermiculture units. Professor Kushal Deb, a faculty of the Humanities and Social Science Department, also has a vermiculture unit using cow dung, food waste at his residence on campus. IIT Bombay has very high electricity consumption for operating AC instruments, lighting and other appliances. About 17 crores of rupees per annum is spent on electricity. CESE, Center for Environmental Science and Engineering, is a dedicated center for teaching and research on environmental issues. It is equipped with many advanced instruments to help carry out the research undertaken at CESE IITB. IIT Bombay's Department of Energy Science is also working on various energy issues of the country. Research on solar panels is one such example. A project for generating 1 megawatt of solar power in IIT Bombay has been approved and implementation is imminent. Considering the large quantity of grey water that is generated in IITB, we propose an upflow anaerobic sludge blanket reactor as well as a wetland treatment plant that could be installed to treat the grey water and then discharged into the Pawai Lake, thereby saving the pumping cost.